In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you the exact export settings I use for high quality videos. I currently have an edited raw clip of Flostradamus at Beyond Wonderland at the Gorge on the timeline, and it's ready to be exported. Stick around to the end of the video to watch the raw clip in full, including audio. To reach the export settings menu, go up here to the export tab. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure under media file that you have this toggled on. It will be highlighted blue and it should open up this area here. Then go ahead and type out what you want your file name to be. If this is client work, I'll usually name them raw clip one, raw clip two, etc. And I'll even add the names of the songs in parentheses if I know them. Then we'll choose a location where you want to save your video to. I have mine set to my desktop, which is fine for this example. For preset, you can leave it as is because it's going to change back to custom here in a second anyways. And for format, make sure that it's set to H.264. Now into the video tab that should already be toggled on, go ahead and click match source. And that is going to match whatever your sequence settings were. More often than not, my horizontal raw clip sequence settings are set to 4K 24 FPS. These other default settings never change as well. Now we'll click this box here for more. And we'll make sure that we have this box checked for render at maximum depth and then check the box for a use maximum render quality as well. Then we'll scroll down to encoding settings and performance is extremely important because this is going to really dictate how fast your video exports. So ideally you'll want to use hardware encoding, but not all computers are going to allow for this. So if yours won't allow for it, you'll need to opt for software encoding instead. Hardware encoding is going to use your GPU if it's strong enough, and it will allow you to export faster. For reference, here are my MacBook Pro specs that allow for hardware encoding every time. Then for profile, you'll want this set to high. For level, mine has always been set to 5.1. And then we'll scroll down even further to bitrate settings, and I always have mine set to VBR1 pass, with a target bitrate of 60. I found that these settings really help with the quality preservation where it matters most, such as during fast movements or scenes with lots of detail, setting the target bitrate at 60 more or less ensures that even the most demanding parts of your footage receive sufficient data to maintain that high quality we're all looking for. Next, we'll collapse the audio tab that should already be toggled on as well, and under audio format settings, we'll make sure that the audio format is set to AAC. For basic audio settings, the audio codec should be AAC as well. For sample rate, it should be 48,000 hertz. Channels should be set to stereo, and bitrate should be set to 320. Now we can close the audio tab. This is all we need to do for those high quality export settings. These other tabs can be left exactly as they are. In order to not have to change these settings every single time you're about to export a high quality video, I'd recommend creating a preset for them. To do this, head over to the three dots under preset, and then we're going to click save preset. And you can name the preset whatever you'd like, but in this case, we'll title it high quality raw clip export settings. Then we'll go ahead and click okay. And now every time you export, you can just click on the new preset we just created and it will automatically have all of these settings applied for you. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing guys. I hope this export settings tutorial helps shed some light on what is probably one of the most intimidating parts of the video editing process. Now, just like I said in the beginning, here's the Flosterdomus raw clip that was exported in those exact export settings. Take it, take it.